Do you have nothing, you don't mentor, or advise or speak for in terms of sound mixing at all? You're not involved in that world anymore? I used to do it a little bit at uh, Film Oz, uh, at, uh, sorry, at the film school, but it's all too different for me now. I don't understand it. Or, I'm, and I could, I could talk to them about the philosophy of it, but then, that, and that's interesting, but my, my ideas would be, look, make sure the technology doesn't lead you, make sure you lead it, because I see a lot of things that are done that I thought, that's extremely clever, but I think the guys got involved in that, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, and I could, I could do things like that and talk about, um, I mean, I've, I've seen films mixed, I've heard films, where um, uh, I did a lot of animated films at one stage, mm. which I really liked. Um, straight, obviously, with all the dialogues looped. There, there is nothing, <laughs> yes, it's, 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 you've got to create everything, that's right. Exactly, so, but, but um, I've seen films done there where the effects have bombed the dialogue out because they're very, very exciting, and I think that line of dialogue doesn't matter, but that one did. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So I could I could speak about the philosophy of understanding what's important. At what the do you time. think is important in well, sound for a film? Well, it's what it varies depending on what's happening. If 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 you're in a in a you know in a fight scene, and and you, you're not worried about worried about what they say, then the crunches are important. The whack on the chin's important. You know, the bang on the head with the nala nala whatever it is, is important. But if you're in a scene where there's action that is interesting, but the dialogue is important or the, the mood of that thing is, is changed, you've got to understand um, sort of where the, where, the, where the story is. Once you lose the story, you're gone. Everything, every picture's a story. You know, and, I, and I just see it and I think, oh, you idiot. Now and again, because even when I mixed, I'd say to my fix mixer, mate, that's a fantastic bomb sound. <laughs> but this just guy said the name of the bloody bloke is very important. For, for instance, a, a lovely example. In the Russia house, um, Jerry Goldsmith had written a beautiful theme. He, he, was, he was a beautiful writer. He's dead now, sadly, Jerry. Um, and the scene opens with Michelle Pfeiffer, who plays the part of this lovely Russian girl, walking down this big, big avenue. It's wide. It's a big, wide thing. And she's walking down here. And there's a lovely music theme playing. On the effects tracks, there are her feet from 200 yards away right to your ear, which is fair enough. When you want them, they're there. On the effects track also, there is, and there's a few little um, um, leaves being blown about a bit. There's a little wind stuff, which is there when you want it. And there's a beautiful music score. Halfway down the thing, Sean Connery, who we haven't met yet, says, you Katarina Oliver, catcher. That's the opening line. Your Katarina Oliver is the name of the girl and she's nicknamed Catcher. Mm -hmm. That's got to be heard. Who gives a, about the bit leaves and the feet or even at that time Jerry's music? And it was such a shame, I thought, that that music had to dip down so far for that. But if you don't tell the people who the woman is, What's happening? Mm. So you've got to be very careful, no matter, you've got to play that music as beautifully as you can, but you've got to make sure that as it, it's got to come down a fraction before he says catcher. It can't go, da 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 catcher. It's got to be a smooth transition. Well, you've got to prepare the audience for, to know something's going to happen. Now, you know if yourself, if you're looking at a movie, no matter what it is, and the music's done, and the music starts to go down here, you're already for whatever's happening next, don't you? Mm. You know what I mean? Something's coming. Exactly. Yeah. So, you, so you've got to know what's important at the time. What matters for the story. Absolutely. I could keep on talking for hours, but I think we've been talking long <laughs> enough. Peter Fenton, it's been a wonder talking to you. It's a pleasure, mate. Uh, going through your entire career, briefly. We only touched on some of the films, after all. Thank you so much for being a part of this interview for the litmus test, Peter Fenton. Mate, a pleasure. Thank you. And that's uh, the end of this show, this uh, interview with Peter for the litmus test. Thank you all for watching.